Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Um, so what you're seeing on your screen right now is basically sort of the layout of the world map in terms of treasure charts. Um, so each of the numbers on the map dictate uh, which treasure chart belongs in which square and such. So basically it's like a short little guide. Um, there might be a couple that might be wrong, I'm not too sure. Um, my guide had a couple that were wrong, like for example, uh, North, sorry, Needle Rock Isle um, was shown as being number 38 instead of number 28, and uh, Northern Fairy Island, I believe it was, I'm not too sure, uh, was shown as being number 5 instead of number 22. I'm not too sure if that's the island, but I know that was the number that it actually is, it was 22. Um, but anyways, without further ado, let's get going, shall we? Um, so basically what we're doing today, because uh, I didn't really explain it, is we're going around, we're getting all of the treasure charts. Uh, now this is sort of a pain in the ass, but it's actually really rewarding, because A, you get more rupees than you can actually carry in the game. Um, I'm pretty sure you get... I know it's a little bit over 5,000 rupees. It's pretty close, but it's a little bit over. Um, and you also get 12 heart pieces from doing this. So it's definitely worth your time. Um, in all honesty, if you're playing the HD version like I am, and you have like a guide, like even if you just like printed out the picture that I just put at the start of the episode, it's super helpful. And uh, basically, like this took me 48 minutes to record um, like doing every single one of these and I know this is like an 18 minute long montage I apologize for that but realistically I really didn't know any better way of how to like do this because it's really it, it would be so tedious to show it but it's something that like I probably should show to show like where everything is and stuff like that uh, but there's 46 treasure charts and all that you saw um, the three islands that are missing are, I'm trying to do this off the top of my head, sorry, uh, Great Fish Isle, uh, Stone Watcher Isle, and Cliff Plateau Isles. Uh, I'm pretty sure those are the three. If I'm wrong, something will pop up on the screen, which I, sh I, pr I should probably stop saying that, because that's like, it's a reminder for me when I'm editing, but it's like, you guys don't give a crap if something pops up on the screen, you just fucking read it, and then whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you also notice that there are columns of light that come up from each of these treasures, and I tried to show each of these as best as I could, uh, but some of them, uh, they were in, like, awkward positions, like, especially the ones for the reef isles, like, uh, like, uh, for example, like, Five Eye Reef or something like that. Um, they were really difficult to show because you could only see it from the outside, and once you got inside, you were too close to it, and the column of light would disappear. So I didn't really want to show, like, going and seeing the light and then going all the way around and, like in and getting the treasure and it, it just takes a really long time you would have ended up with like a really long montage um, so I'm just more so than anything showing where these treasures actually are um, because I mean if you're playing the game you'll have the map and if you're not playing the game well then you probably really just don't need to watch this episode because nothing useful is going to happen I mean it's just like this is literally just like going and collecting a bunch of crap. I also find it funny how like I I like most of the time I had like I had the gamepad on my lap and I also had my guide on my lap uh, so that I could see like where am I in proportion to where the treasure is and also like where is uh, like each treasure chart because I, I wanted to be able to reference like okay uh, this next one is I, I don't know what this one actually is I think this one was like 31 I want to say um, I could be wrong I could be right I don't know um, but I'd go and I'd like flip through the menu on the Wii U gamepad because you could do that while you're playing it's just like tap tap the screen and you flip to the next um, next treasure chart and it was really convenient like I'm not gonna lie if there's any time I've been grateful for Nintendo make, <coughs> making this monstrosity gamepad thingy, uh, which it's actually really comfortable to hold. I just find it a little awkward having your hands that far apart on a controller. That's all. Uh, but this was the most convenient thing for the Wii U gamepad. Is like this is what it was designed for: is to like have a map right in front of you while you're playing so you can just look at the map and like glance at the TV and look back and forth and it's really convenient and I would definitely recommend it because in all honesty this probably takes I've never done this 
whole thing on the GameCube version of the game, which is why this is blind, by the way, because I've never done this before. Uh, but <clears throat> I, I kind of figure that it would probably take somewhere between two and a half and three hours to do this on a GameCube, and this took me, like, just over 45 minutes to do on the Wii U. So, like, I could, I could take a picture of the raw recording file if you want, and I'll, like, post it or something. I don't know. Uh, like, I could just leave the raw recording file on YouTube, like, just, like, compress it or something like that, so you could see, like, me traveling around every single one of the islands. I wouldn't do commentary for it because I'm lazy. I could only do, like, if I'm not playing a game, I can only do, like, 20 minutes of commentary at a time without, like, getting really bored, because I, I have, like, the ADD and stuff like that. I don't actually have ADD, I have, like, I'm borderline. I'm really close. I've been tested, and they're like, we could diagnose your son with DDD. DDD? Dumbass. Disorder. Dumbass. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, but... Yeah, they could, they could have diagnosed me with ADD, but they literally did not because my parents wanted to save a buck and didn't want to get me, like, Ritalin and, like, whatever the hell people with ADD take. I'm not too sure what it is. I just sort of associate that with Ritalin because that's the one that's most, like, popular, like, shown on TV and stuff like that. But I don't know what people with ADD actually take for, like, medication to prevent being really ADD, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And, uh, yeah, so, like, I, I'm borderline, but I'm not bad enough that I actually need medication or anything like that. I swear to God, also, like, two-thirds of this video is just Link, like, reaching in a chest and then showing what he got. Like, I tried to skip the text on, like, all of these things as fast as I possibly could, and it still ended up, like, 18 minutes, because that one cutscene where he reaches in the chest is, like, 10 seconds. He has to do that 46 times. That's like eight minutes of Link reaching into a tech, into a chest for like one video. It's ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> also, you might notice, I'm uh, not sure if it's still active, but um, oh, yeah, it is uh, right there. Oh, no, it just ran out. Never mind. Uh, but uh, the forest water from the last episode was still running until this specific square that I just got to. Um, because I saw that there was a timer there. I, c I couldn't see what it was because, like, when I when I watch these back, when I voice them over, like, post-commentary and stuff like that, I'm looking at a screen that is, takes up literally, like, 1 20th of my entire computer monitor, and it's really hard to see, like, details and stuff like that. Like, I can't see how many rupees I have. I know it starts with a 2, and that's... I can't make out the rest of it. But, but yeah, like, I can't see the little details and stuff like that. So if I'm... That's sort of why I don't really talk about the game that much. I also figured out, like, this cool editing thing where you can, like, expand the screen of, like, something that outputs really small. Like, for example, um, my Pokemon Gold LP, like, everybody knows that, like, if you ever watch that, the screen on the Game Boy is, like, super small compared to the actual screen that it, the whole video outputs at on Sony Vegas. And, uh, like, you'll, you'll see that, like, if you watch one of those videos, the, the Game Boy screen, like, what I'm playing on, probably only takes up about a quarter of, like, your monitor. Um, but I found out how to actually, like, expand the video to make it fill the whole thing. Which is why, like, throughout this entire LP, you've probably been able to see this black line on the left side of my video if you really look for it. Like, it's a one pixel wide black line that's just, like, there. And it it's something to do with my capture card, I'm not really too sure. But it's, it's just there, and it's annoying. Like, other, th other than anything, it just bugs me because it's there. Um, but you'll probably notice that now it's not. Actually, I think in this video, like, I think, I think the line was, like, two pixels wide, and then in this video it's, like, one, because I don't think I adjusted it properly. But I would have to go and individually adjust it on 40... I think I have 49 different clips in this episode, um, so I'd have to do that on every single one, and I'm not going to do that because it's going to take a long time, and I don't want to spend, like, days and days editing this. Even though I spent days and days, like, editing this one video, which I'm... I guess I could talk about it now because it'll probably be up now, but, like, the, the top 10 favorite games of all time video, I, I haven't done the uh, Banjo-Tooie or Majora's Mask 
or Animal Crossing parts yet, and I'm already at, like, I, I don't know, like, 15 hours of editing time, which I honestly, now I see why, like, JonTron and, like, Peanut Butter Gamer and people like that take so long to put up videos is because it's so much work. Oh, my God. Like, theirs is probably not that bad because they generally do one, one game per video. Uh, but, like, when they do top tens, holy shit, it takes a long time because you have to get clips from, like, various parts of the game like for example when i did dk64 i just like randomly went into a bunch of different worlds and that was probably like an hour recording that it took me to do because i went like five minutes in a bunch of worlds and then i had to do like the intro story like just let that play and then like the dk rap i let that play just because like you want clips from like various little parts of the game and i don't know uh, also when i did the Star Fox one i had to do two full playthroughs of Star Fox 64 which, holy fuck, like, that is a huge file for recording. I think my recording file was at, like, 8 gigabytes or something stupid like that. It was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I haven't done the Banjo-Tooie or Majora's Mask or um, Animal Crossing. Pro tip, uh, Cloudberry Kingdom wasn't actually supposed to appear on that list. Uh, there was going to be another game, but I didn't have a way of capturing it or any of another game in that franchise and I didn't want to just go online and like steal somebody's video or something like that which I, I did for one of them and I'm not gonna say which one because somebody's gonna like copyright the shit out of me or something like that I don't know um uh, but yeah like I don't I don't like going online and like stealing people's videos and stuff like that um but I mean sometimes it's necessary to get like a little clip that you might need and you don't want to play through an entire game like for example if you're playing Pokemon Gold and you want to get a clip of like fighting the Snorlax uh, outside of Viridian City. Vermilion City. It's not Viridian City. Don't be an idiot. Um, you need you need to, like, play through the whole game, pretty much. Like, that is, that is like, 80 to 90% through the game. And, like, I had a clip of that that I, I took from my own LP because I, I started saving videos, uh, my LP videos. Oh, by the way, I just poured out the the spring water because it was bugging me because well, that it was there. Uh, I was just annoyed by the fact that I had a full bottle of water and I was just like, fuck it, pour it out. Uh, but yeah, like, I started saving videos uh, at, I think it was episode 16 of Pokemon Gold. Uh, and the reason for that is because if I ever want to go back and like, take a clip from one of my LPs or something like that. Um, I don't have to go and download it. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna periodically like delete them once my hard drive fills up. Like for example, um, the first one to go when my hard drive fills up is gonna be Pokemon Gold. That entire LP is just gonna be like deleted out of my folder. Uh, because I like I can always go and get like YouTube to MP4 converter and then just fucking download the video and like even if it gets copyrighted or like copyright strikes and it's still up, I can, I can go and like download the video uh, and then uh, take out the audio or video part that got uh, copyrighted. And then, yeah, basically just like put it back up and it's like the same thing, uh, which is what I'm going to do. Like I haven't done that yet for my other videos, which I've been planning on doing, uh, but I'm probably going to do that within the next couple days. Uh, so I don't know. Be prepared at some point. You'll probably see like 50 videos from me. Although, by the time this goes up, you'll probably have seen it because, I mean, uh, based on my upload schedule, I think this goes up on January 7th and it's December 27th right now. Like, I'm only recording, uh, I recorded this one and I recorded the, uh, the Korok quest, uh, yesterday. Well, no, sorry, today. Uh, and those are the only two I'm gonna record today. I might do like the, uh, the trading quest and the auction today but I'm not sure I don't know um, I'll figure it out eventually but whatever it's not it's not a big deal like I don't need to do it right away um, but I, I know in the last video I mentioned that uh, I did have like a different recording like capture software I'm using uh, capture module that's what it's called I was trying to think of what the word was uh, but yeah it's it's basically like the software you use to capture your video and uh, yeah like the, the biggest issue I have with it is that my video file sizes are so much bigger now. Like, oh my god. 
Um, I think this one was about three gigabytes um, before. Like, I think I think the entire Wind and Earth Temple recording thing uh, was like just over three hours, and I think it was eight gigabytes. It's not really inconsistent. I mean, it's it's a little bit more, but it's not like huge difference. But it also allows me to record at a higher quality, which I'm probably not going to do just because of the sheer fact that this file size will be enormous and it'll take forever to render. Um, but I can record at a higher quality now because it would always do like uh, 9 megabits per second. And now I can do 13 and a half. Um, and I can do that on anything too. Like I could, I could go and record like fucking Mario 3 and record it at 13, 13 and a half megabits a second. Uh, which would just be retarded. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if anybody actually knows anything about, like, video quality, but, like, apparently it's the number of megabits, uh, per second that actually dictates the quality more so than anything. I mean, like, uh, sure, if you have, like, a 720p video versus, like, a 360p video, the 720 one is gonna be, like, a bigger frame size, but, uh, the biggest difference apparently is in the bit rate. I, I don't know much about these things. I just make the videos. Whatever. Uh, but we're almost done here, actually. Uh, funny thing is, is I got to Windfall uh, when I had, like, 40 minutes left. And I just, like, bam, 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 bam. I, like, cruised through every single one. Like, all the rest of them took, like, 20 seconds for me to do, like, travel in between the islands for some reason. And I don't know why. Uh, I'm almost maxed out on rupees right now, too, which is kind of ridiculous. And as you know, I, as you can definitely see, I have 19 heart containers right now, which I've never done in this game. I've never even gotten close. Um, actually, the only time I've ever gotten all the heart containers in a game uh, was one time when I played Ocarina of Time. That's the only time I bothered. Generally, I just won't bother because there's usually one or two that's just like, why would you do this to me? Uh, what was the one in this game? There was one that was just really bad. I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, well, I can't right now, but, I mean, the Korok training quest wasn't good. It only took me, like, 15 minutes on the video, though, and, like, it probably would have taken me less time if I wasn't a fucking idiot and just, like, got through the cliff top, well, cliff whatever aisles, the, the first island that I went to, if I got through that in, like, a reasonable amount of time. Or was able to figure out where to scoop the water. Dear God, that's the stupidest place you can screw up. Um, I also, like, I love this too. Because, like, they, they're, they like, shooting at me from, like, all directions. There's two of them. And, like, you could you could have seen there, like, there were two bombs just, like, hanging in the air. And they missed, like, completely every single time. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but there were, like, two or three of these clips that I actually sped up. Because they took, like... 40 to 50 seconds, and I'm just like, no, they should take about 30 seconds apiece. Which is fair. I mean, if they took 30 seconds apiece, that would be a 23-minute video, which isn't horrible. I I was hoping that this would turn out to be like 12 minutes, though. Um, but anyways, that is the end, and now you can see, uh, we go through all the charts, and they're all checked off, and you can also see on the map that there are red circles around every single one of those, uh, and there were like random little charts we picked up on the way. I'll be going over those uh, probably in the next episode, uh, and in the next episode I'm going to get the rest of the Tangle statues, I'm going to get the rest of the heart pieces, I'm going to get the magic armor, uh, and I'm going to go through the charts, and uh, then after that we're going to go to uh, basically like all around, and we're going to we're gonna go to Tangle's Island and get like the rest of the Triforce shards in the next one, because we'll have all the heart pieces, like I can go and do the outside island thing now, and I'm going to do that on hero mode. But I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna be like two or three episodes to do all of those things that I just mentioned. Uh, but either way, I will see you guys in the next one. Whatever we're doing. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and goodbye. I love ya. Bye.